Hi, this is Kyle from APS, and I'm here to talk to you about sailing shorts and the key features that set them apart from everyday shorts, uh, technical shorts that you wear just for hiking. Um, we're talking about wet conditions on a boat, abrasive surface, surfaces uh, like non-skid, and all the bumps and bruises you could get just moving around on a sailboat. Let me take you through it. All right, I'm going to run you through five groupings of key features for a really well-performing and comfortable sailing shorts. First, uh, with the fabrics. Most are made with a nylon. Uh, in this case, it's a suplex nylon, which is even softer. It's cottony feel. Uh, it's hard-wearing. It's quick-drying, um, and it's breathable. Now, this is non-stretch because it's 100% nylon. Some shorts add uh, about 5 and in some cases, 10% of an elastine in them, so you get a little extra give. So when the material would normally stop you, these are comfortable because they allow you to continue to reach for something. Um, the materials generally will have a UPF factor around 40. Not all of them are rated, but any sort of covering uh, compared to bare skin is going to help protect you from sun. Okay. Defining a uh, key factor, uh, two things here, starting with reinforced seat. When you're dealing with non-skid or especially on a race boat with a really aggressive um, non-skid that's almost like 60 grit sandpaper, you can go right through the seat of these. So wearing a normal uh, short is not going to last you long. So typically this is a Cardura nylon. It's very heavy duty. It wears well. And in some cases, um, they will add, um, use a hybrid material that has an aramid fiber like a Technora Kevlar in it. Now, second defining feature, um, not only are they reinforced, but on some you have the option to open this envelope up here and insert closed cell foam pads on either side. That's going to protect uh, your buttocks and it's going to protect the back of your legs. So when you don't need them, take these off, open this up, take them out. When you're hanging around on the boat, you've got some very comfortable fast drying shorts. When you're working on the boat or racing, insert the pads. Lots of protection against bruises. This really allows you to sit on some pretty uncomfortable um, deck situations. Uh, let's see. Pockets. Make sure that the pockets on the sides are nice and deep and you can put lots of tools in there and that they're not going to tip out when you sit down. And another pocket option would be to go with a short that has a cargo pocket on the side. And if you do that, I would encourage you to find one that's kind of three-dimensional, uh, has some structure so you can fit more things in it, and that it has a good amount of Velcro in it. Okay, cut. Uh, you do not want to be wearing a form-fitting, shore-cut shorts. You want something that is um, very full cut. In this case, it has pleats. The pleats allow you to get more stuff into the pockets. The crotch is a fuller cut. The legs are nice and wide, and they move, and there's a lot of air movement in that. Do not get a pair that's too tight. It's going to keep you from moving around. You notice these are pretty long. That's the standard. Um, you want to protect as much of the leg as possible, so most of them are cut just above the knee. Uh, with women's, you have a choice. Uh, here's a women's short, and you can see it's much shorter. Um, so make up your mind. Do you want a shorter uh, piece that doesn't protect the bottom of your um, leg there, or do you want a full length? Uh, so just choose a style accordingly. Okay, uh, adjustments. Um, some people, not everybody likes to wear a belt. It is standard that most of these shorts will have belt loops, so you can wear a belt, but if you're out sailing and don't want the binding, then you're gonna, going to need some adjustments. In this case, it's a two-to-one Velcro adjustment on the side. And in this case, it's just a flat Velcro tab. Just make sure that they want to hold and don't peel back. Um, the other thing, if you're not wearing a belt, is the attachment point here. You'll notice a lot of these have these big buttons. They're easy to operate, especially if your hands are cold, but they won't come undone. Um, snaps are okay, only if they have a button behind them. If they don't, they tend to pop when you're uh, kind of straining against a load or moving around too much. So um, know if you're going to be wearing a belt or not. Um, lastly, there's kind of a category that stands out by itself. Uh, that is a waterproof short. Uh, this uses a two-layer uh, laminate material. It um, has a mesh liner inside of them. Some of them are unlined. 
Um, these are great if the, the deck is wet, um, but don't, uh, let's not fool ourselves and think they're going to keep water from going up the leg. They're really designed uh, when you've just got a wet deck situation and you're not getting waves or rain from any other direction. For much more information on choosing sailing shorts, um, how to care for them, proper undergarments to wear, visit us at the APS Advisor at APS. LTD.com.